Welcome back friends to the shop. It's been a long time since we've done a video from the shop. I actually got the very, my very, my very first fire going in the wood stove. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, my escape from Portland bag. Now the last time I was in Portland, and you might ask, why do I go to Portland? I unfortunately still have from time to time, uh, I have to go there to conduct particular business. Um, and the last time I was there, I got up close and personal with uh, a crazy person in a baseball bat. So I put together a, um, a kit uh, using a new bag from Vertex. Before I get started, this is not a paid endorsement, uh, but I did not buy this bag. What happened was Vertex contacted me and said, hey, we watch your stuff. We're interested in working with you. Uh, would you be interested in moving forward with that? Um, and I said, yeah, send me a couple things and let me take a look at it and we can talk and see. So they said, pick out whatever you want in the catalog. So I picked out this pack. Um, I gave a catalog, or I told Jariah he could pick out anything on the catalog as well. It, it, funny thing, just by coincidence, he picked out the same thing I did, uh, only in black. I picked out uh, some exterior uh, camo gear, like a rain gear, kind of high-tech rain gear type of stuff, and three pair of casual pants. Um, and so that was our, that was it. Um, I haven't heard from them since. So uh, this is, I, I've had a chance to use this now for a little while, and it kind of was an answered prayer uh, in that uh, I found, I couldn't find the right backpack to do what I wanted to do that wasn't a full-on mountaineering bag. Now, um, I, as you guys know, I love, I'm all about airsoft. Uh, so when I go to Portland, I like to play my airsoft uh, tournaments there. Um, and this is a great way to carry those items. So those, I'll, I'll be sharing those with you as well. So what we have here, and I think why it's so appealing, is a very nondescript uh, backpack. It looks like something you'd get from REI. It actually looks to me to be very similar to something from Arcteryx. Interesting thing you'll see on it, really, unless you really know and know what you're looking for, there's no logos, there's no molly, there's nothing to make it look like it would belong to anyone outside of just your your good-natured Pacific Crest Trail hiker, right? So that's the nice aspect of it. It doesn't scream anything uh, like that. However, that's where it, its features kind of, um, well, there's a lot of hidden stuff inside that's really unique to this, which we'll see here. On the back panel, you've got uh, your regular you know, ergonomic, um, you know, your modern style shoulder uh, risers there with your chest strap. And one cool feature here that I really like, especially for this type of application where I might need to grab it like a duffel or wear it like a backpack, it gives you that option. Sometimes some of those packs have those huge waist straps on there and they just catch on everything, especially if you travel with air. This has a good padded waist strap, but it's designed to go inside of here uh, if not needed. And you could pull it out. So if you needed to ruck this or uh, just have that extra support, it's there for you, but you're not dealing with it. So you can really, you know, strap it down, bolt it down, and get to, and really make it small and compact. Now you've got a great big reinforced loop here that you can grab. Over here, what I typically grab, and what I really like is this, a big reinforced, just, just a grab, kind of a grab, handle that's sewn into the lid and it's got that rubber reinforcement so you can get really good traction on it and that's what I tend to grab when I'm grabbing this and, and taking it in and out of the back of my truck this is typically what I grab and I like that external pockets nothing new here um, but that's basically it so I like that aspect of it be nice to see maybe even a handle on the side here just as a future note that you could grab it and kind of carry it suitcase style uh, you know, that's the way that it's designed, it would lend itself to that because being so long and tall, and there's a reason for that, uh, it is a little bit difficult. You know, you have to hold your arm up, and if you were shorter, it might drag on the ground. So, I don't know, just something to think about. But, let's take a look inside. So, we've got lots of different compartments, but the, the, I'm really going to focus on the two main compartments that really matter. So, if you need to get access to this bag, like really, really fast, what you have here is you've got a really big kind of a rubber tab on here uh, that is just a way for you to index it. And these zippers and how this works is, I got it on the wrong side here, how I would do it is you can release these risers really quick and kind of flop that out of the way. That's what I should have done. But you, by grabbing this tab right here, you can pull this out. Now this opens up uh, to a very interesting compartment that you can kind of custom uh, build out, right? 
for lack of a better word. It's got the soft, uh, some sort, it's, a, it's like a Velcro, but it looks, it's a little bit nicer. It's a little finer. Uh, I don't know what, what it's called. But you can get different accessories. You know, this, of course, is my, my Airsoft here, my 19X. Um, you can get different uh, holders, uh, you know, for your Airsoft magazines. You can see the yellow pellets in there. Uh, those will fit in there. Maybe you want to put a Surefire, an X300 flashlight, you can see there. Now this is, of course, my abdominal, abdom I, I can never pronounce that, the sack that contains my uh, first aid kit uh, and supplies uh, that would go onto uh, a chest plate carrier. Or you could just access it right here, right? We've got our, our TK there and all the things we need inside. Now, you can see here, if I hold this up kind of upside down, this is a pretty good sized panel. Right, that's a big area. And this has a sleeve in it so that you could put, um, how do I put this, a ballistic uh, type of soft or even hard uh, shell plate in here. And the way that it's designed to pass through, you know, when it's not loaded up with all this heavy weight, you can put your arm through. Let me zip it up here and show you. You can put your arm through here, this back panel, and you know, without that weight in that, this could be used as, as a shield, uh, something or something you could get behind um, or just you know, make space. Um, just little details like that are kind of cool. Uh, whether or not you'd use them, I, I don't know. So that, uh, that is kind of the side compartment. Now the main compartment is what I find to be the most interesting and what really set this aside and was a solution to pro a problem that I was having trouble with some of my larger airsoft items, right? Now, we have a sm small compartment here on the top. You could put uh, glasses, and you'll notice that everything inside is a white color, a light color, so that it's not dark. Uh, th this pack's kind of cavernous, so when you look inside, if you were trying to fish out individual items that were darker in color, for example, um, having against the white or the tan, the contrast is nice. And then also these really cool blood red zippers uh, that are identified with the red pull tabs so that you could differentiate those as well. Um, as for me in here, you know, I like to carry a carabiner. You know, all Pacific Northwest people do. It makes them feel like that they're, they're outdoorsy. Uh, and some of this fiber tape, right? If you wanted to uh, secure whatever you need to secure there. That stuff's pretty tough. Uh, picked up that little tip from my friends that were smoke jumpers, but that's just the top uh, Just a little top goggle, and that's probably where I'd put sunglasses, maybe maybe safety glasses But this double pole zipper set right here by that sewn loop if you stick your finger in here Or your thumb the, and pull on it. This will automatically open all the way exposing a big cavernous Opening right here that you could put all sorts of things in there <laughs> Okay, let's get all this stuff out of the way. So you can separate it here into, into multiple pieces, break some things down. Um, you can even put a full size uh, carrier. Goodness, my organization. I'm gonna need to work on this a little bit. What I wanted to show you though, that it does fit. So a full size carrier uh, with ceramic uh, will fit in there, uh, no problem whatsoever. So that was in there as well as uh, the upper and lower. Uh, you can put your, put your, uh, got another IFAC in here. So one of the flat ones right there from our friends at Refuge Medical. This is designed to fit inside of a, you know, kind of in your carrier that's really slim against your chest. So you don't have to have another compartment sticking out, but that fits in there. And here you can see the laptop, the laptop sleeve. I think it's right here. Yeah, that black part, so you could take that out. But it does separate if you wanted something, if you didn't want it to get scratched up, um, it kind of separate a little bit. But this is really nice. It's just big and deep, just a big cavern that you could drop all sorts of things in there. Even assembled, your larger airsoft will, you know, if you're talking like a 10.5, 10.3, will stick out just a little bit, but it's, it's doable. You know, it's, it's, not, um, it's not super conspicuous. So, you know, just by simply adding, you know, different compartments, you know, we can take, you know, our first aid kit or whatever we want to do there and we can build out. At least, you know, for me, it's kind of having it on you. 
that is a, that's kind of an important thing to me because I, if I have to grab multiple bags or go every time I leave, try to, you know, build a bunch of gear out, I'm just not going to take it. So let's close with this. Uh, overall, the quality of the bag, in my opinion, is on par with, I mean, it's really similar on par with what I see from, like, you know, what you're going to get from REI or your old Dana stuff. It's really nicely made. It's the, the materials are really modern. Uh, it's very, I mean, it's a really nice hardware, um, not overly complicated. You know, you've got pockets on the outside that you can drop things into, i.e. like water bottles or if you wanted to put your radio in there. Stuff you can access from the outside. I even threw in here, you know, half a dozen ba you know, bags of um, like salty nuts. Nut mix uh, is always good. You know, just have some quick protein or some power bars. I think I got a couple of those things in there. Uh, the last thing on here that I didn't tell you is if for some reason, you know, you wanted to, you wanted to go out and, and LARP and to have more of a, um, of a tactical look, I guess, you can completely change the, the look of the pack. This is kind of a kangaroo pouch here, so this is something that you could store, uh, poke a jacket in, right, or just something you need to store really quick that's secured with these really nice aluminum buckles that just hook over the loops. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty simple. They come right out. And then there are a couple snaps here. If you yank on these snaps, oops, I carry an airsoft holster there. Uh, now you have a paneled, a molly paneled back that you could, of course, it just makes the whole thing look different. And now you've got your Vertex logo, which you can't see without it. Now this opens here and this could be stored up inside. So you wouldn't even know it was there. So that's a that's kind of a nice feature. You know, you could you've got your LARPing mode, and then you've got your normal. I'm just carrying me book bags, back to the university uh, type of look, right? Which is nice to have the options. Um, but great, lots of storage in this. I mean, you saw all the stuff that I had in there. It was a little bit hard to get out, but you know, better to have it with you, even though it's a little bit tough. And then with winter coming on, you know, one thing a guy doesn't want to overlook is. What if you get, guy gets caught out in bad weather? You know, at least, at least have a, a rain jacket with a hood on it, uh, if nothing else, if you can get pants as well. And so this was the other thing that I ordered from them. And I haven't really used it yet. I'll put some, this kind of through the test, but I, if you wanted to blend in, right, or if you wanted to maybe go to a Halloween party dressed up as a, um, as a soldier, this would be a really good costume you could wear. Uh, but this is gonna be breathable, 100% waterproof um, and, cut big enough to go over uh, you know all of your all of your stuff but I've got the jacket fits on one side if I roll it up tight and then the matching pants I have over here on this side you can see that they do fit in there and now you've got the ability to stay warm and dry uh, when it's raining because it rains a lot uh, when you're trying to escape from Portland so that's it I think that's basically all the stuff that I had in there Thanks for watching. Oh, uh, I guess what was my final opinions on this? We're not done yet. It seems like a really good pack. If you were to ask me, if I were just to blindly look at this, um, not knowing really anything or who the brand was, I would think that this would probably be in the $300 price range or so, maybe $325, maybe even $350. There's a lot of detail. Um, it's really nicely made. I like the materials. It's a lot of, even little loops there if you wanted to run a hydration, like, you know, just lots of daisy chaining, nice hardware, thoughtful to be able to have put panels in. It's nice. Uh, but I think they're $199. Uh, I went on Amazon and I was looking at them and you can get them in lots of different patterns. Jiraiya got a black one. I got, of course, the green one. But m all of them look and could be used just as a regular day pack or even a, a light overnight pack. Uh, they do have a lot of space, a lot of room in them. But for $199, uh, with all of the features, and especially for those of you who like to play airsoft, you know, it really accommodates that well. Um, it seems like a great deal. I also, just as a side note, noticed on Amazon, it had a lot of ratings, and it was one of the few things that I've seen that has a five-star rating. So I, it's not just me, and it uh, seems like people are happy with it. And for $199, it seems like a pretty good deal. 
I'll put an Amazon affiliate link uh, in the subject heading. Uh, if you're interested in it, want to go in there and pick one out, you can do that. Help support the channel. And thanks to Vertex for sending this. I will be wearing their casual pants. Uh, they're kind of interesting as well. They have a lot, they, they don't uh, look um, out of place really, but they have a lot of really good features uh, similar to this. And I'll wear those over the winter. And, and uh, if there's something I want to do, I'll get back to you on that as well. All right, Mama Kitty, thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video.